It's Thursday, June 10th, 2021. It's two days after Gabaldon began to water and then get shut down because of overflowing water and wasting water because this ditch wasn't cleaned out. Well, looking at this, I would say Gabaldon learned it from the Conservancy. They clean their trash and then just throw it up here on the side of the banks. Beautification of Belen, huh? Really nice. All right, this is where Gabaldon got his, gets his water from is up there. I'm gonna walk the ditch and you're gonna see how much sludge and crap that is still in that ditch. And you wonder why, looks like it's somebody's ashes right there, or dumping ashes, I should say. Yeah, all along the thing right there. Gabble Don's ditch is totally clogged up. He doesn't clean much of anything. You can see this ditch. Look at that. Look at this trash still in there. See, look at that. Piled up right here. Right there at the edge. That's where it was overflowing at one point. And you can see that's the crap that comes out of the ditch. There's one little area Gabaldon may have cleaned out. This is that stuff right there. Look at that. That's going to clog up everything. It's going to catch anything. Look at this. There's another little pile of stuff that Gabaldon may have pulled out. I'd have to look at the previous videos. Look at that. Look at that. That's where water was overflowing right there. It's still wet out here towards the street. That's Gabaldon's overflowing right there. That's not from my property. Look at that. It was all overflowing right here. You can see it. Huh? Huh? Yeah, my wife laughed at me for the, huh? It's like, huh? How can people sit there and accuse me of having my property clogging up this entire ditch when the guy can't even clean the ditch in itself? Look at all that stuff piled up right there. That's from the water pushing it. And then it just stops up, people. Look at all that. Look at that. Yeah, it was all plugged up here. It was overflowing right here. You can still see it right here. It was overflowing right there. Look at that. Looks like somebody broke some concrete and threw it out here. Look at all that. Huh? Unbelievable. And then you have an attorney that can't even get off his dead butt. And come out here and look at this for himself. He believes his client. Really? That whole... that He's watered that field right there. Look at all that trash. That's from years. That's a brand new pipe. Drainage pipe. You couldn't even see it yesterday. Yeah, we're only at 119 East Oregon Road. Hey, he, he, he watered their whole field. Or half of it, anyway. You can see the sludge over there, right there in the middle, before those pile of things. He 
See, there's water out here. Right there. Look at all this trash. That's probably yesterday's mail or Wednesday's mail. No, that was yesterday. Some of it. See, look at that. There's a perfect example of what Gabaldon does do. When he does clean or his helpers clean, they throw piles of crap on other people's properties and expects them to clean it all up. And yet all of that stuff has been there probably for years. And what happens is it winds up back in the ditch. And who cleans it up? No one. Hey, look at all that crap back there. Huh? Look at all that stuff piled up down inside there. Yeah? There, it overflowed right here. Look at that. This thing was completely packed yesterday. Gabaldon didn't clean anything up. Well, you got this side a little bit. He had to. Look at that. <clears throat> Gambledon didn't clean anything up. Oh, look at this. Never does. Huh? Look at all that crap in there. All the way down, folks. All over. You need an entire cleaning party to clean up this ditch in this side of the road right here. Really sick and tired of this harassment. Look at all that crap. Gabaldon doesn't clean anything. And he's barking at me because he wants access to my property to clean my ditch. There's nothing to clean in my ditch, you fool. Now I'm in front of 209 East Argon Road. Gabaldon looks like he came and cleaned that little bit out right there. Look at all that trash in there. Look at this. Trash pile built up. Look at that. You can see it overflow and you can see the stuff that went over. Here's where it goes underneath the road of East Argonne. 
That's where it exits, ow, right ow, there. Ow, ow, ow. No, no, no. Hey, Gabaldon never cleaned up anything over here. No, no, no. Look at all that pile of crap. This is at 207 East Oregon. Look at that. The water pushed that stuff out of that pipe. No wonder it took uh, over 40 minutes, was it? To go from here to my house? I don't think so. Gabaldon never cleaned up a thing. Look at that. This entire ditch. That little bit right there, I'll clean out here in about, it take me a total of about two minutes to clean. If that, like I even showed in the first video. There's my property. Huh? There ain't nothing to clean in my property. There's nothing in my ditch that's plugging up his water flow. Not even that screen right there. I haven't picked up anything today or yesterday. There's a little bit sitting right there. That's it. Biggest pile of trash came from underneath this drain pipe. And I cleaned it out Tuesday when he was watering. And that's it right there. And right there. That's it, folks. A little bit over there. Look at that. There's nothing in my ditch for him to even have to worry about cleaning up. Oh, that was for me raking up my yard. Look at that. There's nothing there. You want to see what I cleaned up? I cleaned up that, that, that. That's it, folks. Now, you want to see the other side of this? Look at that. That's the scum and crap that came over, made it through. Now, that's the rest of the ditch to his house. It took three hours for that water to probably reach his house. It took over two and a half for the water to reach my house. It took eight minutes for the water to flow through on the limited amount of flow that there was because it was all plugged up upstream.